What is Dire Tide, Mr. Storm Spirit? Well, you see, I got the sweet old cinematic camera, and I got to like run up the middle of the ground. Have a look at all these lovely outside lights. So fantastical. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Basically, recently they released an update where they updated textures for Storm Spirit. They also created this mode. Storm clouds are gathering. Just pretty sweet. See all those lovely new textures up super close. First blood. <laughs> we got first blood already. Oh, that seems like the other team did. What's our team doing besides getting attacked? And this is that tide, you should have seen it last year. I don't think I made a video of it. I made a video of the winter game mode thing where we're all grievous going. Grievous, 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 grievous. Oh, that's the sound they make. They go, grievous, 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 grievous. Yeah, yeah. And the object of this is to. Get all the candy from the other person's bucket and put it in your bucket. Two turtles. Then also in this update, they had this lovely cinematic mood and two new heroes, which is Ember and Earth Spirit, which are Storm Spirit's brothers of some sort. We wouldn't exactly call them brothers, but you know, all from the same family. Like Green Master splits up, turns into Earth, Fire, and Lightning spirit, storm spirit. Basically, they all got their own characters: storm spirit, ember spirit, and earth spirit. I can't really repeat that much more than it already is. I'm not sure why there's a ping there. Apparently, we're going around to get the the guy. Spirit breaker. And this game we already see the timer here. That's when Russian comes out. There'll be another timer after that when Russian spawns. Oh, uh, he ran away. Oh, that's cool. No, you can't. You. We lost the candy. Oh, poor big Astron. No, he's a dead Astron. Uh, I'm only really playing Storm Spirit right now to show off his textures. I was kind of hoping one of those enemies would pick Storm uh, for Ember, but oh well. What you gonna do? I'll probably show off like five minutes in a non actual game, just offline, versing some bots, with cheats on, so I can get to level 25 quickly and show off the crap. Fine, I'll be stunned, you jerk. Here I go again on my own. Like the wind. Oh, SB, you wascally devil. You wascally devil, you. And basically, every single thing now is the cinematic mode. Even the tower. Look at me, I've got faces on my faces. Mm -hmm. You can't exactly click on the map, you have to cl actually click on stuff. That's what I think the tower makes. You can click on anyone, your allies, you can't click on enemies. See if you go here, yeah, there's the thing still there, but. Showcase view available for enemy units only. He died. Oh, so much candy. Candy, 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 the candy, 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 Super slow. Oh my god. Oh no. Hmm, keeping my end up. 
Why did they give me this random tango? They also introduced sharing tango's last update if you haven't seen any footage since last update. I was gonna release a video but I was like meh 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 Read I'll save this till it's five o'clock somewhere. Uh put that in. Forward <laughs> oh, lion, you class act. Four, three, two, one, two, one. Oops. Oh, God damn it. Zagoon. Poor Becker. Gonna get eaten because you didn't get no candy for a poor Russian. But you got some candy for a Russian. Always got a talking baby voice when you see Roshan getting candy. It's them rules. You heard them here first in this game. Generally, you keep one piece of candy on you in case Russia and go. Wow! Do, do you have some candy for me? Do you have candy? Can you give for a quickie? Do I have candy with you with it? Da 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 that could have been better. Nom 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 nom. Maybe I can't get a cool ass cinematic view of Russia from that guy, but I can get it from this guy maybe. Just like, you he's looking my way. Take this tower and go get you my sweet ass blue blue blast. Blue blue blast, blue blue blast. Oh yeah. Oh shit, the big mean spirit breaker. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, hey, Russian. How you doing? Oh, I came back. Whack, whack, whack them all. Whack, whack, whack them all. Do, 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 Mm, if you go to the old rush bit and you say, oh, I didn't know when you know rush bit. You're crazy. Don't want to look up her skirt or anything. Oh, you really have to the fix as well. <laughs> she remembered to wear her undies. With her feathery wings in the back. Look at that. Whoa! Let's zoom out a bit. Oh, look at all that shit, man. I should have moved frog, river, river, motherfucker, river, river. <laughs> this was when we lose. <laughs> nice ulti by Lich. Bounces for days. Move 
of the way, rush on. <laughs> Damn it, rush on. That's one taste of meatball. Gotta look awesome when my drone back to base. Got a whole lightning bolt in my hand. See, that's why he's got a missing sleeve. He lost all of electricity. Look at that smile. Looking <laughs> good. Seize your face, seize your face, seize your face. And then we end up in the second part of the game. Where you gotta be after the old rush on. You have infinite money to buy whatever you want. I can buy whatever I like, I like. Generally it ends up being Divine Rape is the one that you can also buy from anywhere on the map. It doesn't have to be in base or at secret shop. It can be whatever you want. And I'm getting the vine rapiers for days. Selling the crappy boots. Cause they're crappy. Eh, might as well just get another divine rapier. Forward. Left you a little something. Basically, if you want to do this fight right, you just go up to the Divine Rape, and not Divine Rape, it's Battle of Furies, and have the guys who just stand in the back. You'll replenish your mana to just spam everything as much as possible. And it's also good to have a Trent on your team because Trent can bug him out. So I can lie and so I can shadow shame I'm sorry if you're having trouble hearing my voice. I'll probably mute the audio of the game a little bit for this bit so you can hear me a little bit better. So I'm pretty good at stuff and I can do things like that. Achievement for surviving forever with this guy, never dying once. It's pretty easy if people like Stolen Spirit can blink whenever they want. Oh, are you kidding me? I died there? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> What you really want items wise is to have a, at least an orchid on your team. Veil doesn't work against them, so don't worry about Veil, don't worry about Majol, because Majol doesn't work against them. Neither the sheep, because they fixed that last year, because everyone was just getting Tinker and spamming sheep. Or well, Rubik and Tinker spam sheep together. And they've changed Rush on from last year, so he has levels every time he dies, so it's not all like, oh, you beat him once really fast, congrats, guys, for finally for six years, we bugged out Rush on. And every time you kill him, you get 20 seconds extra on the clock. Whoops, I accidentally blocked into that. <laughs> I 
And every time you kill him, you also get lots of money. Plus, you get 100 gold per second. Per second, probably. Comes a huge as fast as fucking wind. Hmm, let's have a look at Sumac, Merit, and Lightning Gun. Now this looks more like a WoW game. Oh, that just licked me. There he is, he's the Phantom. And then, of course, once you lose, you get a bunch of items. Mainly when you get Shadow Essence. And, of course, no thanks. Oh, I got a Mega Kill on answer. That's cool. <laughs> go me, I guess. I'm now gonna go across to this side. If it would ever load, new in this patch is three new chests, the ember, the earth essence, the scroll case, actually five new chests, the heroic bounty, and there's one I don't have which is called Diatire 2013. Also with this patch we have crafting, you just go on one of these scrolls which you find in the match, and this scroll here says put three random uncommon items in. Let's see if I have three random uncommon items and it's not bugged because it was bugged before. Uh, do I have an uncommon item in the thing that I can use? Nope. Here's one I can use. Nope, it's still bugged. If that wasn't bugged, you just put three things in and you get a thing. Of course, it'll take me back to here. Annoying thing. Oh, defense grid announcer. Um, there's a different one. This one here. And you put in a wax, you put in an exhort, and you put in a quas. Oh, wait, I don't have a quas. And then you hit the apply button, and you, had, and you go, oh look, and it would craft something, but because it didn't have everything, it didn't work. Oh, actually, did it do something? No, it didn't. Just making sure. <laughs> Just making an example. And you can end up with something like this. I crafted this before, this weird squiggle cape. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. That's what you can get from crafting. It's completely random what item you get. It's literally just random. Then you get the cursed ones, which are mythical or whatever. And you need a shadow essence as well. You can buy a shadow essence from the community store for like 60 cents. They're not that rare. They're sort of rare, but they're not, you know. It's one of those sort of things. Zero seconds, Ember. Pick Ember Spirit. Level up 25. Oops. Prepare for battle. There we go. I have achieved enlightenment. And of course, gold. Let's get me now. Generally, what you want to build is lots of items like this later. The current build going right now for this guy is Maelstrom, Drum, Phase Boots. After that, you generally would go either Desso or Lifesteal. Completely up to you, but you don't have to go either of those. You then go. I've seen some people go Skull Basher because you get a chance on Skull Basher with your W here. Which creates a huge AoE thing which you can then fling two through. Let's go quickly go. Give me my recipe, my recipe, PP. 
that for a second. Basic. They also change it so you can't get flying Korea straight away. Absolute jerks! Basically, here we go. Fire Spirit, oh, Vajum! Fire Spirit, Vajum! Vajum! Fire Spirit, Vajum! Vajum! That's pretty sweet. You can put down three, so it bounces all three of them at the same time. You can only go to the end one which you select at the end. I'll demonstrate that once they recharge. Fine. In the meantime, I'll show off some other abilities. Grab illusion here, I go, what you, what you, what you, look at me! Next ability is Ability E, also known as Flame Guard. Your third ability. Turn on, you get AoE around you. When you hit, nothing really happens. Just saying, hit. That's a huge AoE of fire, kind of like Doom Scorch stuff. Here we go, here. Let's see how I did my Jolna hit with that. It uses on hit effects. It's basically your auto attack, but. You get a bit of bonus damage. Also a bit of minus damage against creeps. There's bitch face top. Hopefully by then I should be able to use two fire remnants. It should get to kill him, hopefully. Yes. Why do I have control of the bot? That is so weird. I clearly should have had a bot. Anyway. Oh, come back. But and then see you go, hua hua! That's bad. <laughs> He's a pretty good hero. You also have these things. They trap them, plus put them in chains. I wonder if I can click on him and then go level up. I don't know if I can or not though. This thing is also our global teleport, which I'll now demonstrate. As you can see, there's a fire guy yeah, here. I'm going to grab a teleport scroll, teleport all the way back to base. Yada yada yada, I'm back at base and then I click here and zoom, I'm here. It's a two second delay I think to get there. Or three second delay, I can't remember. No matter where you're going. But that's basically Earth Spirit that hits those guys, just so you know. I'll show that off. It's also got really like cool ends for this, this, and not really that. That's a pretty long cooldown. Uh, his first two abilities have really short cooldowns, and they're probably his stronger abilities. I definitely recommend getting them. I recommend maxing your flame guard first, getting one point in each of them, and then depending on if you're ganking a lot or if you're farming a lot. Which one of these you go for? If you're getting here, like you really want to upgrade your shackles, so it's three second duration. It's pretty good. As you can see, it hits those as well. Does not do a lot of damage to them, though. Yeah, witch doctor, I need to shoot my shit at you. Your top tower is under attack. I just want to shoot three flame spirits at Witch Doctor and then I'll end this video. Well, not end this video, end this Ember Spirit showing. Might as well, while I'm walking to bot lane, if he's actually going to end up while I'm going to walk in between them. Give him a cinematic view. As you can see, when you're in the diet, it's got a different hue compared to when you're in the radiant side. It's also got a different hue at night time, which, luckily for us, it's about to change. No path, yeah, but witch doctor, where you at? Where you at? Hey, hey. What dangers lie here? This is where facing a human would be so much more Destiny easy. Oh, I am under attack. Well, look at that fire shot. <laughs> Tower shot. All paths find. Well, Serenity. might as well. Oh, there he is, mid. I'm gonna show fresh up quickly. The stalwart flame. Nope, in. Oh, he doesn't have a hat on. Make it seem way more epic. Like a big guy trying to burst this creature. Gotta zoom out a bit so you really get the scope of the fight. Wish that thing was in the way. There we go. Nice framing of this. Let's see, zoom in just a little bit. 
Yeah, look at that sword in this fight. It's just it's terrible. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly go up. The road is endless. No witch doctor, stay where you are. See? Each one hits. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of the Oh wait, better show off night time quickly. See how it's more of a weirder here. It's a lot darker, especially as you get deeper. It's darker and darker and darker and darker. But on the opposite direction. Hot 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 hot. That's the sound I think he makes. It's brighter and brighter. It's gonna turn the camera around so you can see it more. Yeah, look at how peaceful and tranquil it is at night time. Remember before it was like a much more blue upside. Anyway, enough of this guy. Uh, with Ember Spirit, I also find it's good to get a Lincoln Sphere early game because you can dodge a spell, which is super top. Especially when you try and teleport away from people, just escape and be All good. Observe. Now, Earth, on the other hand, he has Stone Remnant as well. He can place that wherever he wants. They all have a Remnant, both Storm, Ember, and Earth. He's also got. He's a good level. Up oh, 25. Yes. Uh, Our increase. I'm not gonna. Well, I'm gonna get gold for him just so I can get like soul boost and whatnot. My stones are light. Do. Okay. Go. Go. You don't actually have to put down an L, you can just roll straight away, just go roll W. It's pretty sweet that roll. Alright, yeah, it's perfect. That's all I need. He's got a weird ulti. I'll demonstrate it soon. You can also hit these with his Q. We know back with his E. So he goes when he brings him back, it stuns. When he shoots it forward, it silences. When he rolls on it, you go super far. And also destroys it when you roll it there. Damn mind. This beginning marks their oh end. no! Over there. Let's go demonstrate my LT. By way and way. His W does not increase damage, but when you level up, it does reduce cooldown. Okay, here we go, ulti. Activate it, he now has it on it. To up, make the charge go again, you put it down again. If he runs into an ally, it will go on again. And also, resolute. See? Now these have the resolute, the, not the resolute, the magnetize. During these, you would also hit the stones, but the stones break apparently after your ulti. Hmm. Didn't know that. With this, you can hit the rock. You can Precisely. bring the rock. Okay, I have to just check the rock here and stun him this way. I set my See? You can also hit the player. You can roll yourself out of the rock. Yes. And you can't pull him back, which I'll demonstrate once it re comes back. So, damn it, guy. See? I can't pull him. But I can hit him again. I can also hit these guys into him. They're hard to aim though. Roll and then put that down to get faster. Lots of combos. You can pull your ally creeps or allies, which I'll demonstrate over here. See? And that also stun, I believe. Just all things stun when you pull them. Doesn't matter what it is. It's just these are more easy to use. 
In general, you don't want to use these to hit unless you want to silence with it, because when you have it with the rock, it silences. You have this with the rock, nothing else happens. But, see, so just boom, silence. And you roll. Oh, I missed the <laughs> rock. And you ulti. And you chuck your rock down. Hit the rock into them and get double kill. That's basically him, and that's the end of this video. Congrats, guys! Yay! If you like this video, subscribe, like, yada yada. I think I. Just gonna point this out to you guys. There's a password right here. You type say hello buttface right into it, and you will only match with players using the same password. The more you know. Now get out of my game, you faggots. Prepare for cuteness in 3, 2, 1. Cuteness enabled. Hi, you guy. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, you guy? You want your, 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 your papa? Hey, your papa? Your papa! So cute!